Driving a log truck can be a dangerous job. Long hours, extreme road conditions, and bad weather are only some of the hazards. But if you do have an accident, at least you're protected from being crushed by the load. Or are you? Last year, two truck cabs were crushed when their loads shifted. And in both cases, the loads were under the regulated limit. In one accident, the driver was killed. So why did the bulkheads fail? Investigators discovered that in both accidents, the U-bolts holding the bulkhead to the frame broke. The U-bolts broke at their bends as a result of work hardening caused by overbending. Also, the bolts were not torqued to the manufacturer's specifications. Why? Because the C-frame they were attached to could not hold the force of the bolt without collapsing. As a result of these findings, the board has recommended that the minimum inside radius for a one-inch U-bolt be no less than three-quarters of an inch, and that bolts are evenly torqued to at least 400 foot-pounds without causing distress to the frame. To check the inside radius of a U-bolt on your truck, you will first need to make a gauge. Take a six inch piece of one and one quarter inch EMT electrical conduit and check to make sure the outside diameter is one and one half inches. Place the pipe firmly in a vise, standing vertically and with a saw Cut the pipe lengthwise to a depth of approximately one inch. Then rotate the pipe one quarter turn and cut the pipe again lengthwise to the same depth. Flip the pipe horizontally and Cut off the quartered one inch sections. You now have a gauge with a three quarter inch bend radius. To check the U bolt, Place the gauge as close to the inside of the bend as possible. The center of the gauge should fit tightly to the center of the bend. As you can see, this is a good bolt. If you can see a space between the center of the gauge and the inside of the bend, the U-bolt is tighter than three quarters of an inch and must be replaced. This is easier to see when the U-bolt is off the truck. Here is an example of a good and a bad bolt. Notice that on the bad bolt, a gap is clearly visible between the gauge and the bend. Next, check the torque on the bolts. You must be able to evenly torque the bolts to the manufacturer's specified amount usually at least 400 foot-pounds. Most C-frames will not take this amount of torque without the support of frame stiffeners. A good C-frame stiffener assembly consists of a piece of substantial tubing with softeners on each end next to the frame. An alternate system to a U-bolt assembly utilizes two bolts and two sets of nuts and substantial plates. This system avoids the concern with U-bolt corner bending and is considered a superior clamping system. 
Driving a log truck under the best of conditions can be dangerous. The last thing you need between you and your load is a faulty $20 part. Make checking the U-bolt assembly part of your next servicing.